Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts. Again, please excuse my voice. My cold is not any better, so I, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to come on today to share with you um, the paper piecing and the card I am putting together with the um, Spring Flower Gnome from Kadoodlebug Designs. And I'm just, I've got everything sorted. I'm just gonna hop right in here and get started. I am going to put the little pieces on the mushroom first, just because I will lose them otherwise. I'm surprised I haven't already, to be honest with you. I hope everybody's having a good day. I am looking out the window at more snow. So happy. Not really. We just had six inches of snow Sunday evening Sorry, I gotta get my glue going. Excuse my reach. It's uh, for the middle of March. It's uh, kind of chilly, which not all unusual, unfortunately. March is usually a very interesting weather month for us. But I did ink all of my edges, even these little pieces. I'll get the size of the gnome I cut out in just a moment or two. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, I know it's cut out pretty close to the size it imported, to be honest with you. I'm putting it on a card that's four and a half wide and six and a quarter tall. It's like the invitation size of, if you, um, it's the size of envelopes we can get at Walmart, at my local Walmart, or, well, I shouldn't say completely local, but closest one I can get to, um, but to, it says invitation size on the box. It works very well for me for paper piecing. I don't mind doing the, like the five and a half or six, six inch square ones. I don't have envelopes for those, so I have to make them. I can usually get by though on this size I'm making today with one stamp if I'm lucky. Uh, I'm gonna put this down here in the corner. This one should be up a little bit and it's stuck down, so <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna put it together until I get my paper piece going, but I wanted to make sure that I had to lose any pieces there. And I will be referring to the photo a lot. This is the first time I've put this together and when I'm using a shadow piece, I sometimes have a struggle getting everything to line up, but sometimes I like that shadow there, so. That works. And I'm just putting some glue with, I'm using both my Beacon 3-in-1 and my art glitter glue. Again, I'm using the Beacon 3-in-1 on the larger pieces. It gives me more time to maneuver the pieces. And I, I do this a lot when I'm using uh, large pieces or also when I have a background that I'm working on. So I have the hat that I'm putting together here. And this is part of the reason I need some wiggle time because to get this lined up and get it lined up over here sometimes it doesn't ever get exact but it, I get as close as I can and I'm good with that and then I'm gonna put the uh, bottom part of the blue down and this I had this figured out okay so this bottom corner here I apologize, I want to make sure I can, I'm in camera. Okay, so this bottom corner here, I'm going to match up down here. There's two pieces for the hair that stick out and then there's a little rounded piece. I'm going to match that up there. And, yep, and this little bit will all get covered up with the the brim of the hat and the nose and everything so and the hair so we're good but this is the next piece I'm putting down I 
just ordered photos to be printed. I'm going to be sharing with you a project I started before I moved. I didn't get my photos printed. Uh, and so I did get those ordered and they should be coming shortly. Get that so it's down there. But I kind of want to show you where I'm at in the process so far. I am putting together a mini album. And that's been really fun to work on. So I want to do that. I'm just making sure that I have enough of the uh, nose that will be covered with the <clears throat> Excuse me. That I have enough of this gap covered with... The hair and the nose before I go any further. Part of this is going to be the mushroom, so there's going to be a little bit of white sticking out. I just want to get that put down. And yes, I am this slow at paper piecing. I, I guess I have right now, I'll say, the luxury of being a little bit slower. This little bit up there's a just a bit of a jut of white that's going to stick out here. Just a sliver. The green covers that up from the stem, so I'm good there. And then I want to take the nose, put the hat on. I want to just lay these on to make sure it'll be covered. Okay. It's good where it's at. So let's get this hair on her, and it is a female because it's got long hair. I'm going to assume with just the way it looks like it's cut to be a braid. I don't know much about gnomes, so I will just assume that it's a female. Get the other piece down. There are days I wish I could, oops, sorry to bump the camera. There are days I wish I could afford to get the uh, refills for a Xyron, the adhesive, like the sticker maker and stuff. Just think how quick these would go together, but I work with what I have, so good with that. Okay. Looking at it, I'm going to put the rest of the, yeah, the hat piece on and the nose because that's behind the flower petals such, so we'll start with that. The glue is cold this morning. I don't keep it very warm in my apartment or I would get... I wouldn't be able to sleep. I have to have it cooler to sleep, so although last night it was pretty chilly, I will admit. Now I'm going to put the nose on and then we will work on his little feet. Make sure I get it. I'm good with it there. Okay. Now I'm going to do his feet, if I can, yep, these are his feet, and there's the little spots for the feet to go. Well, You know, I'm using my refilled bottle, my big bottle of art glitter glue, and it takes a while to come down to the bottom. Maybe I'll leave it tilted there. Okay, just making sure I get them on the right spot. seen uh, comments about it being like uh, in the high 80s I think it was in Georgia 
I'm just, I can't imagine that much heat this early in the year. Wow. Okay, the toes, the big part of it goes to the center or to the inside. Kind of want to put the other one on because there's a little white spot there. And it's for this, whoa. It's for this other toe down here. So I'm gonna put that one on first. I wanna get them even as much as I can. So. It's amazing how those shadows just, every little spot has a reason to be there may not look at when you're putting pieces on, but it really does. I'm trying to get this somewhat straight. Okay. Now, I think I will put the mushroom on next. I'm going to not put glue. This is the bottom of the mushroom. Not put glue right there. So I can get this mushroom where I want it. And then I'll put the stem on, I'll just stick it underneath. I guess I could put the stem on now too, but now that I already got it, I'm fine. And we'll tuck this in underneath. Not sure exactly how, sh how far up it should go, but that looks good, and I'm going to put a uh, hand on. And excuse when I'm reaching. I apologize. I'm going to take a quick look, and I want to make sure you can see where I'm at here. So, And I just pop that on approximately. It doesn't have to be exact. Now I'm going to work on the flower, and... I'll be honest, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So, see what we can do here. So, I know the green goes on first. And let's see, I'm just counting here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so it goes on pretty much straight up and down. I just want to make sure I, I don't know if you can see it, there's just the tiniest bit of. Uh, a little sliver popping out there that I need to make sure I cover. I found with the art glitter glue, if you don't put it down tight, if you don't burnish it, you may sometimes have a bit of a prayer of getting it up. But okay, and then the hair will jut out just the slightest bit there. And the hat, there's just a sliver there, so we're good with that. The leaves, it does not matter if they go over top of the stem, excuse me, couldn't think of it, uh, because the hand's going to cover it. So um, I'm just trying to figure out how this goes. I know it's because this one's curving up. I know they go that way, but oh well. My problem here, this one curves up. Oh, I see what's wrong. This little part down here is the hand. That's where the problem is. So this one does go over some. Um, okay. See, if this is why I have the photo up too because like I said if I've done it a few times I'm okay but or if it's been a while since I've done it then I try to stick with it but okay then we can put this one in here that's good I get it okay 
Okay, and then we can put the hand on next. Then we can work on that flower. That flower just is, it bothers me. I, I have problems with daisies, so getting them to look decent. Okay, so far so good. Now, here is a daisy. And I used, as you can see, polka dotted paper. And I, I'm really sorry, I didn't label which one goes on here which. That looks like it fits pretty good, so we'll go there. Let's see. And then I purposely laid them out so they were the curves were going the right direction. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get that upper part in here covered, the white covered. And then we've got this. Oh, just gonna stop one moment here. Okay, I'm back. I apologize. I have the TV on, and <clears throat> my remote controlled battery is dead, and I still haven't been out to get to my car with the weather. So, long story short, I it came on finally and I didn't realize what I generally had it on was just no noise and then a, then a program came on so this bottom piece will hang over his nose and what I'm trying to do is figure out one of the petals will come over here so I want to make sure that I get these petals on cover that and I'm not sure how that's gonna work so I'm Let's see what I can do maybe it's one of these longer ones I, I don't know maybe it'd be better to do it this way if anybody's got any good suggestions here I wish you could give them to me I think that's going to work. So what we're going to do. So just a hint, I'm putting this one on first. So I know it will cover. If, if you're using the shadow. If you're not using the shadow, you're good. I didn't think about that till just now. Maybe I should have. I think I did one other one that something that had a um, had a daisy and I had a struggle getting the daisy to look right. Don't remember what it was, but I just I don't know. Okay, not bad, and it's kind of a larger daisy, so yeah, I'm gonna go with that. It's kind of spread out some, so. Okay, get, hold this up so I can see where it's at. And I'm going to do a little bit of uh, chalking and white work, white gel pen, to uh, see where we're at to do that. Get it in camera a little bit, I apologize. Excuse my reach, find my funky sponge here, right? This is not necessary, this part. I just do it to add a little dimension. I've already done the hat. Now look at that. I went to that work to chalk my edges for the uh, indentions of the hat. Didn't even look at the crazy photo. Thought it would all be covered up. But the way I look at it, good practice. 
so not all is lost. Way too much weight there. a little bit of weight and I'll be done. Excuse me. Just taking a look at times just to make sure that I'm still in frame. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, so I apologize. Getting used to these crazy gnomes, but they um they had to grow on me. I don't know, but I do like the gnomes from Kadoodlebug Design. Say she does a good job on them. Probably one of my favorite designs for gnomes. Anyway, I like a lot of her designs, but um yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to stop here a moment to readjust my camera and I'll come back on and show you the, the rest of the card that I'm putting together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my card. It's not put together. I'm going to take my gnome off a moment. I have the base of it finished. Again, it's four and a half wide, six and a quarter long. I put a yellow layer on and I put this layer on. This is a die uh, from Cottage Cuts. And then this layer, I'll get a ruler here. The white part of it is backwards. Uh, it's about one and a half. And then the green part would be one and three eighths. And these layers will be the, the yellow and then the bluish. They'll all be an eighth of an inch smaller, too, than the base card. And then this piece, the white is three and a half by... don't want to move the card because it's at a spot where it can... in frame. The white's three and a half by four and a quarter, and then three eighths of an inch smaller. And then I have this Let Your Joy pop open like flowers in the spring. So... I'm going to put that on first. Get my glue going here. Should have started that first. I apologize. Now this sentiment I do have popped up on one layer. And this was uh, a stamp set that was given to me by Kim Ferguson. There are so many. There's There were like four stamp sets in there I think for individual sets I use them all the time they're perfect for so many things okay and I'm going to just center my gnome on there and it's the background is rather light uh, but I wanted spring colors and the gnome itself is not dark so you could have used a you know a little bit different uh, excuse me a little bit darker colors if you wish for the background I am using what I have in my stash primarily, just using all of that up first, and I'm going to be working through that as best as I can. I'm not going to be buying any new paper. I have quite a bit that I've purchased for different things. So, um, I do like, even though it's a uh, not dark it's okay for spring sometimes I just I've been working with dark colors for so long I just don't like it so just want to make sure that sticks down if it doesn't it's not the end of the world but that is my finished card it's very simple uh, 
but I think it really turned out okay. So thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day, everybody. Take care.